When you open the QSA toolbox, you can choose between the simplified user interface and the classical user interface. I'm going to show you briefly what you can do with the simplified user interface. Just to note that the simplified user interface is foreseen to be replaced by the web client in the not so far future. To get started, you need to define your input chemical. You can input your chemical by cast number, name, or smiles, or you can draw your structure. You can also enter your substance via EC number or MITI number. I select now EC number and we use 212-454-9. Search for EC number. And the QSA toolbox finds hydroxyethyl acrylate. Here, highlighted in blue, are some more information about the substance. For example, alternative names or databases and inventories the substance was found. I confirm the selection. With the simplified user interface, you can collect data, apply profiling to learn more about the characteristics of your substance, and find analogs. Let's collect the data. So here you have the options between all data and specific data for a specific endpoint. I click all data. The toolbox finds quite a number of data. So here, when you click on the little plus, you can, end, uh, you can open the endpoint tree and to see what kind of data were found. Let's open hydrolysis. Here in the cells, for some of the cells, you find a small green dot. I hope you can see it on the screen. What does this mean? A green dot means there is more behind the cell than what you can see. To make it visible, just open the cell with the cursor. So now you can see all the results that were found for half-life. We see here the half-life is in the range between uh, 0 0.05 and 290 days. So how can you get more information about these results. You simply double click in the cell and you can see the metadata for the results. I make here the cell a bit bigger so you can read. It says here, the substance rapidly hydrolyzes at pH 11, but at pH 3 and 7, the hydrolysis is very slow greater than 230 days. I click on OK. If you define a target endpoint, the data which belong to this endpoint will be highlighted in yellow. So let's choose here aquatic toxicity. I select mortality. LC50, and for the duration, here it gives you the hint, enter value and unit, so we choose 96 hours, don't forget the age for the hours, and we click OK. You can see that the defined endpoint is highlighted in the output in yellow. We open again the cell because we have this little green dot, so you can see all the values. You can see that one value, this 3.61, is highlighted in orange. So what does that mean? It's really a great new functionality of the new version. Orange means that the test material used in a study did not match with the substance here. When you double-click, 
you can see the metadata. The metadata is arranged according to the alphabet. So test material, we find far on the right side. Here. It says here on the test material is different. Now, if you want to know more, we can go to the source. In this case, it is an ECHA data. I double click here on the link and it leads me directly to the ECHA website. And I can see further details of this study. So here we can see this was the study from 1988. And under materials is the test material information. Now I zoom a bit in so that it's easier to see. So here is the test material and it has here a methyl group more on the substance. And here, this is our target substance for comparison. I close here this window. And if you want to go back to the first screen on the simplified user interface, you just need to click here on the left upper corner, define goal. So it gets you back to the entry screen. In order to get the first idea about the toxic profile, click on all profilers. The alerts, which indicate a concern, are highlighted in red. There is the possibility that you run specific profilers, or you can run transformation reactions on the substance and then run the profilers on those transformation products. This is accessible via this uh, button, specific profilers with metabolism. I don't show it here as we have prepared an example with that via the classical user interface. You can find similar substances, for example, similar in structure by using find analogs by functional groups. You can also choose by other criteria. We can, for example, choose here a profiler that is related to our defined endpoint. It's highlighted here in green. So here on the right window, it would indicate what the uh, profile, the profile identified for your substance, for example, for uh, aquatic toxicity mode of action by Oasis, it identifies reactive unspecified. If we go to ECOSAR, it identifies acrylates. So let's choose the ECOSAR profiler. We can also select databases here. It also highlights and pre-suggests already databases that are linked with the endpoint which is aquatic toxicity. So I'm interested in ECHA reach data. Okay. And I click find analogs. The toolbox found 95 analogs with the acrylate functionality. Now I can export the results as XLS file or as SMI file. This is basically a text file with the smiles information and other identifiers. Those are basically the functionalities I wanted to show you from the simplified user interface. You have seen now how you can input the chemical also using the EC number. I've shown you how to collect data, that you can uh, do profiling and find analogs. The simplified user interface is what it says. It is simplified. 
and you have access to the very basic functionalities. But maybe this is all what you need, and it's for sure a great way to get started with the Cusa Toolbox. For a refined search and many more functionalities, the classic user interface is the interface to go. The great thing is that you can switch between the simplified and the classic user interface anytime. So you can even get started in the simplified user interface and then continue with the classical interface by clicking on this symbol here.